What's up guys, Jacob Ober here. So, I don't make a lot of batteries related videos and I apologize for this getting out as late as it does, but I wanted some time to collect my thoughts. The Badgers today, the Badgers football team, lost to BYU, a team that they were favored to beat by three touchdowns at home, 24-21. to They were upset. They were the number six team in the nation coming into this game. I imagine they will fall out of the top 10 now. I would think between anywhere, anywhere between 15 and 20 will be their new poll ranking. But this was a really devastating loss for the Badgers. I mean, I really came into this game thinking it would be a, I didn't think it'd be a a cruise, cruising Badgers victory. I didn't think it'd be like a 45 to 10 victory, but I'd say I'd think the Badgers would would have won like a 31 to 31 to 13 or something like that. I mean, BYU might have given them a little bit of trouble, but I thought the Badgers pretty had it pretty much handled. But they were just outplayed today. I mean, through in all aspects of the game, offense, defense, special teams, their defense just could not shut down the BYU running game. And this is not something we are accustomed to seeing, especially from the Wisconsin Badgers. This team, this is a team that prided on it, on its uh, defense, and they just could not get stops today. They just could not do what they needed to do. And the BYU offense came through when they needed to, and it was just enough to put the Badgers away. Now, the Badgers offense, however, um, the running game was stagnant at times, it wasn't completely shut down, but I think it was held in check enough to give BYU a chance. Jonathan Taylor did have over 100 yards in this game, but it certainly wasn't his uh, wasn't his most astounding effort. Uh, he had to put a lot of work into the yards he gained. Uh, too often he'd run into just giant walls of defenders. He'd have to make a lot of guys miss. And when the running game wasn't going as well as it should be, that left it in the hands of quarterback Alex Hornibrook and... He did not deliver today. He was not as good as he should have been today. He he had a okay game for the most part, but there were t throws that he missed badly. There was an interception that swung the game, uh, and it ultimately led to being the difference in the game. The BYU would score a touchdown on that drive that Horny Rook threw the interception on, and he threw it inside the batter's 30-yard line, and that was just a killer. I mean, that that re that's that was the moment where I thought. Yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a lot more interesting than than we all think, and it 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 was a tough one for the batters. It really was. They just could not get anything going on offense. Hornybrook was not that great. The running game could not find its footing. The defense could not come up with the big stops. Uh, it just it just was a terrible game overall for this team, and for a team with national championship aspirations, I mean, this is just a killer. I don't. With this loss, I mean, they could win the rest of their games on the schedule and win the Big Ten, and I still don't think they're going to get into the playoffs, you guys. I mean, when I think back on it, I mean, theoretically, it, it feels like the Badgers would be able to make it. You know, a 12-1 and Big Ten champion with uh, win, road wins over teams like Northwestern and Michigan and Penn State. You'd think that'd be enough to get in, right? But the fact of the matter is the selection committee for the College football playoff has never really been inclined to let teams like Wisconsin in. Wisconsin isn't a big ratings draw. They're a boring football team to watch to teams to people who aren't fans of them. So, I mean, it it takes something, and you know that BYU loss is going to be hanging out over this team's head the entire season. They if they win the Big Ten, they're twelve and one, and we're having this college football playoff discussion. People are going to go back to that BYU game and say. Well, they lost to BYU in their home stadium. It would be different if it was a higher-end profile program like an Auburn or an Ohio State. In fact, Ohio State actually won the national championship in a year where they did pretty much what the Badgers just did. They lost to an unranked team in their own home stadium. They lost to Virginia Tech the year they won the championship in 2014. And even then, they barely got in, and they're Ohio State. Ohio State is a premier program, a team that people will tune in to watch. Wisconsin isn't. That's the difference here. And to be honest, I, I, I don't think that the ch their chances are very good right now. Hypothetically, I think there is a scenario or two that actually gets the batters into the playoff this year, but that scenario would have to involve BYU being a legitimately good team this year, which lessens the blow of this loss. If BYU is a team that can sneak its way into the top 25 and remain there throughout the season, then you might have a case for the Badgers if they went out. Because, I mean, I think that the Badgers, coming into this game, I thought that 
or, or coming into the season, I should say, I thought the batters could afford to lose one game against a ranked opponent. Obviously, the, this game wasn't the ideal game to lose, but if BYU can get ranked and remain ranked, then, well, there's your ranked loss. And if they can beat teams like Northwestern and Penn State and Michigan on the road, then they might have a case. And they also need to win the Big Ten, though. I mean, keep that in mind. They have to go and beat, most likely, Ohio State or Michigan State. So it's, it's going to be very, very tough for this Badgers team to get there with this loss today. I mean, it's still possible, but it's so unlikely that, I mean, is it even worth entertaining the thought right now? I mean, they're going to have to go on the road and play Iowa. They're going to have to go on the road and play Northwestern. They're going to have to go on the road and play Michigan. They're going to have to go on the road and play Penn State. I, I can't see the Badgers co going 4-0 in those games, and if they want to make the playoff, they're going to have to. And that's why this loss is so critical for this Badgers team. It, it doesn't afford them the opportunity to lose any of those games because coming into the season, you'd think the Badgers would be able to lose at least one of those games and still be able to get into the playoffs. Well, now you already blew your one loss that you have, and now you have to win those four games, and it's just so so tough for me to see the batters actually doing that and winning those four games. Now, I do think they're probably going to have a pretty good year. I think they'll get to 10 wins like they usually do. I think this was just a hiccup, but it was a pretty costly hiccup considering how tough the batters' schedule is going forward and the fact that they don't have any of these t ranked teams to play at home this year. So, um, tough loss today for the batters. Tough, tough loss. Could have virtually ended their playoff chances today. Um, I, I just, it's, it's, it's pretty devastating, it really is, but the only thing you can do is look, look to the future, look forward, and the batters have a game against Iowa next week uh, on the road. It's a chance to, to right the ship and try to get their confidence back, and I mean, the, the Big Ten championship is still very much in their sights. The, the Big Ten West is not very good this year, keep in mind. Iowa and Northwestern are they're really their only two uh, competition right now, and they're not, I wouldn't say they're on the level of Wisconsin just yet. So um, there is still a chance the batters win the Big Ten. There's still a chance that they get to the Big Ten championship. And there is, however small it may be, is still a chance that they can get to the playoff. Although I'm not sure if it's worth it to entertain that thought or not at this point. But anyways, guys, that's all we have to say today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought of the loss, if, they have, if the Badgers still have a chance to make the playoff in the comment section below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.